couple of players over there. I'm going to hit with an orbital strike. Whoosh. Oh my gosh, I got both of them. Yes. Oh no, Arthur's going to meet the kid. Although he's down to like less than half health, so we should be able to kill him here, right? Okay, so today I'm going to be doing the black market opening on this baby account. Uh, for the ones who aren't familiar with this account, this account is 100% free. Um, but I logged in this morning and I realized I only have a couple of hours left. So we have 4 hours, 32 minutes, uh, you know, in order to do this. Otherwise, the game's going to be opening up the prizes for me. So uh, if you go here, you can see I haven't opened up any. Uh, usually I have about 5,000 keys, um, so I missed about a week or so. Um, you know, I was kind of busy with uh, other things, so I wasn't able to collect the keys. Um, but let's see what kind of prizes we have here. So I'm thinking of going for the gold chest first. Sometimes what I do is if I need like silver, you know, I would actually go for the middle one because I think the middle one's pretty good uh, in terms of, you know, getting pilots and stuff. Uh, so if I get a pilot and I already have it, then I just sell it. So I get silver that way, uh, which I actually still have to do. Uh, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to do this. I also have a game. Okay, so I have a game uh, which I recorded. Uh, if you want, you can always fast forward to that part of the video. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we got a Kisten. So I guess the good news about this is that this is the limited edition version. So um, it will do slightly more damage. Also looks cooler than the regular one. Okay, so we got a, a Titan weapon. I'm wondering if I'm going to get like a shotgun, you know, one of the like a Vajra and stuff. Eldridge Cremola. Okay, I'm not really happy about this prize, but I'm probably going to end up uh, selling it. I'm kind of hoping for like uh, gold or silver, maybe even platinum. That would be good. Corrupted Scaddy. Aren't these weapons going to get like a slight buff or something? I can't remember. Maybe I should keep that just in case. Okay, let's see uh, what we're going to get. Oh, oh, okay. This is actually really good because I was aiming for, I was actually honestly aiming for this. So let me just go back here. Um, I'm going to save the rest of my keys or let the, uh, the game uh, do that for me. Now, the reason why... I was aiming for it is because I have the ability to, uh, you can see my platinum here. I've been saving it up because I could possibly even purchase like a luchador. Okay, the only thing is I don't have like shotguns uh, for the uh, beta side. Okay, so the uh, beta slot. Now, what I can do is, being that I won that, maybe I could even put it on here. I don't know. Let's see what... You know what I might do is, let's go ahead. I'm going to upgrade this uh, so we can do that right now. You, you guys can actually watch, you know, what's happening here. I'm going to upgrade this. Uh, I may not even use it, um, but I want a shotgun, you know, weapon. Maybe I should try it on the author. Although the gameplay won't show it because I've already uh, recorded it. Maybe in the next one. Okay, so we are uh, upgrading this. This is one thing I like about, um, you know, the Titan, you know, upgrades and stuff. It's instant. Now, typically, you know, for most players, uh, you don't really want to do what I'm doing right now. You want to wait until you have the Titan upgrade events. But I'm just showing you, you know, it's very possible to do this, um, you know, on a free account. So I've saved up like all my platinum, uh, you know, opening up uh, ads and stuff. You can see I was able to max out a uh, Mahavajra and it's like the limited edition version as well. So I'm just going to keep on saving my uh, platinum. And uh, hmm, you know what? I'm kind of debating. We, like, should I run this? I mean, we have a maxed out one now. I mean, what can I run that with? You can see my other weapons here. You know, I do have Cinder. I have one. <laughs> I wonder how it would do with like two cinders and a uh, Mahavajra. I don't know. But anyways, we have a maxed out uh, Mahavajra here. What I need now are the Vajra weapons or even the Vora, I think would work really well on this Arthur. But uh, you know, those are the prizes. Okay, so this is how we did. 
So those are the prizes. Great prize here. Not sure about these. I might end up actually selling uh, these to get silver because, um, you know, I don't really play on this account much. You can see we have, um, you know, we don't have that much silver here. Actually, what I should do, so you can see how much uh, silver takes up. So this is a reason why I don't upgrade my robots to like, uh, you know, MK1 level 7 or higher. Uh, because I don't play much and uh, because I'm constantly building weapons and stuff in the workshop, um, it kind of burns through my silver. But I do need to go through my pilots and sell it. So if you take a look at like my pilots here. Like I have a lot of pilots and all of these pilots were won from like either events or the black market. Okay, so I can sell like the majority of these. And uh, that will boost up my silver. Okay, but we're going to leave that for now. Uh, by the way, 40% off silver upgrades. By the time that you guys see this video, though, it's going to be over. So you always want to upgrade your robots and your weapons and stuff when you see like 40% especially. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump into that game, which I recorded. Uh, if you guys like this video and you enjoy this baby account series, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing as well because I will be holding... Um, an Ocho Kachi uh, giveaway uh, sometime on my channel in the coming weeks. Just looking to see where my uh, my teammates are going. I uh, made sure to get uh, this left beacon here because oftentimes I find on this map, uh, you know, your teammates either don't go to this left beacon or the bottom one down below. So my team got it. This is good. Okay, so he's running off. Um... Probably not a good idea. We don't have anyone on this bottom beacon. And I think they're going to... Okay, so you see what red team's doing? They're going to be attacking both sides here. So what is this guy? I'm trying to see if I can corner shoot him. I'm going to use this and use a heal just in case. So sometimes I use a heal if I know there's a probability that my opponent's going to use like a blackout ability on me. This way I get my heal in before it happens. He's going straight for the... Uh, the camper there. Can I get him? Yes! We killed each other. We gotta watch out for this guy though. Where is he? Go and get off the beacon. Yeah, that's one thing you don't want to do. And the bottom beacon here. I'm gonna teleport to this guy quickly. Make sure that we uh, protect him. There's someone behind me, right? We got this guy here. Let me just use a heal. He's going to be landing soon. He has a last stand too. Okay, there we go. Last stand triggered on him. There we go. Couple of players over there. I'm going to hit with an orbital strike. Oh my gosh, I got both of them. Yes! Maybe I can go for, uh, for this guy here. He's taking on quite a bit of damage too. Look at that. Wait, did he crash? I don't know if he crashed. He's like... What's going on? He's looking at the, <laughs> the one side. I think this guy might have crashed. The orbital strike killed him. Uh-oh. Oh no! I teleported. I didn't mean to do that. I think he's dead. I got him. Nice. Okay, so we have to kind of be careful here. Because, yeah. Oh, he actually jumped backwards. I'm kind of surprised he did that. This guy with an orbital strike. Oh my, that's pretty... That's that's some good damage there. Yeah, let's do this. I think someone on the red team might have crashed. There is a nether that's kind of like hovering. He must have really bad... Like potato Wi-Fi or something. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. He has bad connection. I, I saw him like kind of hovering there. Uh oh. I guess a good thing that I healed. Uh oh, uh oh. Yikes! I'm trying to cut off that angle. Let's just do that. Yeah, this uh, this Demeter is pretty much done for here. But if I can get some uh, some damage in, make it worth my while. That guy's on my flank there. I'm trying to see if I can maybe move around here. If I can steal this beacon, that would be great. 
Uh, my teammate may not want to uh, give up this beacon here. So I'm going to turn the beacon. Let's just use my ability. Yep, he fired his. There we go. There was another guy over here. Where'd he go? Okay, I think my teammate got him. Yes, I'm pretty sure red team is down like a player or so because I noticed earlier um, one of their players looked like he was firing like to my left but he wasn't moving. Just trying to break his shield a bit. That should do it. There we go. Nice. I think that's going to be it. So in this kind of situation, quite often what I would do is... I just uh, sacrifice this Ravana. I want to drop in with my Titan. I want to get the... Oh, a kid. Not the kid. I want to get my, um, my honor points for dropping in with the Titan. So... What I'll do is I will get this beacon. Let's just do that. Hit this area with an orbital strike. Might as well. And now we're going to drop in with our uh, Titan here to get those honor points. Very important. Oh no, Arthur's going to meet the kid. Although he's down to like less than half health. So we should be able to kill him here, right? There we go. So I have my shields to the side because this way I actually move um, faster. I've been debating on whether I should get a Titan Accelerator. Because <laughs> I, I enjoy playing the Arthur. It's just that it's so slow. Yes, yeah, so I think I think this is going to be it. But we got our honor point, so that's good. We can try to maybe get another kill here. That would be nice. I'm trying to move around the corner. It's so slow. Steal it! <laughs> I'm trying to get him. Yes! Look at that teamwork. Okay, so we did 1.4 million, 4 kills, 5 beacons, and this is how we stacked up.